what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are opening the last pokemon build and battle stadium without further ado let's get right to it all right guys here we go this is pokemon's last build and battle stadium uh, these uh came back back in sword and shield era right the first time they were introduced uh for some reason temporal forces and twilight masquerade didn't receive these so paradox rift was the last one where these were made uh pokemon hasn't announced the reasons uh, for it to be canceled the only thing a lot of people are thinking and are guessing is uh, These boxes they didn't sell well, you know, that's pretty much what happened uh, I think they were going at around 60 from what I heard I mean some places you could get them for, for a very good deal, but I think that was MSRP uh, but I mean That's the only explanation guys the lack of sales on this product right and this there's your contents you get two of the build and battles right so that's eight packs four in each and then you're getting the uh promo cards i mean hopefully we don't get any repeated ones and you get the energy cards you get the dice right the legal coin flip you get two conditional markers right and uh, i guess the box for storage but yeah guys uh like i said there's no explanation as to what happened. There's only theories. Now, it, it could possibly be these do come back later in the future for a, a different set or, you know. But as of right now, uh, they stopped making these. So, I was uh, lucky enough to get these at TCG Player for about $28. Uh, not bad for 11 packs. See? So I bought two of these. I'm going to keep one seal, seeing that this is possibly the last one <laughs> they'll, they'll be making. Um, but yeah, guys, you get 11 packs. And like I said, I got it for, you know, $28, which is, comes out to like $250 a pack, which is not bad. Uh, right now, uh, sadly, they are listed at about, I think the lowest listing is about $40, guys. So uh, don't get bummed about it. Uh, they drop. You know, I missed out the first time they dropped and they went back up. The thing was 34, 35 and they started going up and then it went back down. And that's when I took advantage of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and open these packs. Hopefully we don't get the same promo. I forgot which promo I'm missing from this. Uh... Okay, this is very hard to open. And again, I forgot the knife. All right, there we go. Okay, here's our four packs from this build and battle box and from our other box. Here's the other four packs, okay. These were the three packs that came extra, right? So total of 11 packs guys here we go we got the chiyu ex all right yes we're missing that one and from the other one we got the zatu which i think i do have the zatu okay that, that's okay no worries all right we'll put these right over here here we go guys let's open some packs of Paradox Rift, right? It's pretty much the set that pull rates went down, right? And double hits went down. So, here we go, guys. Let's see, what can we get? It's been a while. We opened Paradox Rift. I mean, we did open some from the most recent. <laughs> there you go. Aaron Valiant EX. Not bad. There you go. That's a nice pull. All right, said uh, we did pull some practice rate from I think the Minitins, right? No, wait, not the Minitins. 
from the EX box, right? The most recent EX box had Paradox, which was pretty cool. Okay, there you go, guys. And here, Cedra. All right. Magby. Mandelite. All right. Old Trio. But yeah, guys. Um, Pokemon never gave any announcement of, uh, for these. So, an exact answer for why they stopped doing these, we don't know. Right? We can only speculate and guess that the reason they were, you know, because uh, they are a lot of people are stuck with these guys and they're trying to move them right because you know they're just there sitting in their storage and you know taking up space so you know it does cost money right to keep things warm and you just don't want to you know keep them there so you know they do take up some space especially these but like I said, they do have some good deals over at TCG Player. There are actually, you know, obviously other places where to shop. But yeah, guys, if you guys would come across a very good price for these, take advantage of it. I mean, you do get 11 packs. Okay, that's the uh, energy card. Okay, there you go. Let's see. Oh, nothing there. Okay, not bad. I think we did open already one. Okay, I think three packs were the extra ones. So here we go. So far, one hit. Oh. Let me know, guys, in the comments down below. I actually didn't uh, research when was the first one introduced. Uh, I think it was Evolving Skies, but I'm not really sure. Let me know, guys, please. But it it ends with other Sandy Shocks. It ends with Paradox Rift, right? So I know Pokemon 151 didn't get them. And Crown Sandy. So I'm guessing the specialty boxes or sets don't get them. Alright, there's Guard of War, Future Booster, Onyx, uh, Parcel Lady, and Iron Maw. Okay. Alright, last pack of the extra packs. Okay, here we go. And there's the Frostlass EX. Alright, another hit. There's a quote card for you guys. Alright. There you go guys And we're about two packs left guys Into this box I'm actually Tempting to opening The other Paradox Rift box But we're just a Nikki Beat CEO No need for us to open it right I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting More Paradox Rift Packs and some other uh, Pokemon products Most likely Actually, I'm probably going to be opening another booster uh, box on this as well. Just for fun. Comparing it to which one's the best one. Between so far from Paradox Rift, Temporal Forces, and Twilight Masquerade. For some reason, it has some kind of connection, right? But yeah, guys. Uh, 11 packs. 3 hits. 3 for 11. That's not bad. Uh, we did get a... I think this is Ultra Rare. Aaron Raelian. Not bad. And then we got the double, two double rares. And obviously we got the Chi Yu. Which the Chi Yu. There you go. It has a nice illustration right for the Spiral and Violet basis. But yeah guys. That's going to be it for the video. If you guys enjoyed the video. Smash a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And comment down below guys. Your thoughts on the end of the Build Them Battle Stadium. And I'll catch you guys. Till the next one. Bye.